everyone so welcome to the video so yesterday i launched my website read my seller if you don't know what is read my seller is it's a website that allows students to read their university and yesterday launch it went really well i think uh because i thought some few review on the school and the way that we display the data was correct and in today's video i'm going to talk about the issues that we run into before launching and some technical decision that we made and also what will be the next improvement and the feature of the product. So the issues that we run into before launch is the way that we query the data and the way that we display the data for the user. So the issues is because of the way that we display the data and for the user. So initially what I wanted to do is to make every page as static better for the user experience because the moment they hit the page, they will see the data. So for so the way the static work is like this. So at build time, we're gonna send the data to each of this page right here. And then for as a user, so, so when you visit the page, you have to go into this one and this one only, and then you will see the data. You don't have to go here and then from here you go to fetch the data. No. So that's the beauty of statics. So the user have to see from here and they don't have to fetch the database every time. So the problem is when the student is making the reviews to the school. So right now to go to the university page and then do the review. And after the review, the request will send to the database and to change the data. So right now we have to do some revalidations to send to this uh, school and to this homepage to update with the change of the data. And what's the problem that we run into is that it's not changed. It's not consistent. So the change sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. And it was kind of really headache. And before we launching this one, we thought the statics and the way that we fetch the data is working, but uh, it's not. So then we decide to move everything into the client side. So right now when the user fetch the data, so for example, they go to the homepage and the homepage right here will fetch from Superbase and the Superbase will return the data to the homepage and then display for the user. Same thing for the school. So which is fine. Uh, and then right now when, when we query, after we query from Superbase, we cache it using a React query to cache the data. And when the user navigate between page, so for example, if I go here, and I come back so you can see how we read from the cache so it feels really fast. But on the initial load, we will see some skeleton loading. So if I refresh again, so right now, so you can see there's some skeleton loading right here, which is work really well with review as well. So right now when I do the review here and it will, I don't have to do anything to this one. What I need to do is just revalidate the cache and then the student can just go to after the review that will see data immediately. So this solves the problem of the data so that updating before and that's what we decided to go for it uh, when we launching the apps and it went really well. There are some improvement that we can do to make it even better. So what I don't like about this one is the number one is the skeleton loading, uh, which is fine, but there's we can't do it better than this. And the second thing is about an SEOs for the school. So right now, each of the school, before you go into this one, they will see some loading. And if you, let's say, for example, you want to share this link to your friends in within your university to rate, it will not show a uh, meta, let's say meta hat, uh, like a meta inside your HTML, it will, will not show about this school. It will only show about the platform. So it's not great for an SEOs. And yeah, that's why we need some improvement to make it even better. So what we think will be the next feature and the next improvement is to first, we need to think about what is the data that's really changed a lot and what's the data that's barely changed. So if you can see right here with the school logo, school title and school description here, it's static. It won't change unless we, the school is changing their name and change their logo and we have to change that. I think most of the case, it won't change. Uh, but the review information, for example, the overall review of the school, how many review within the school will be changed. And this data will be dynamic. So we think that the better way to do this is to make it static for some of the data that won't be changed and do the dynamics. So for the data that change. So right now we will do 
a mix, a bit of both between statics and client side. Um, so right now, what you can, what we can do is to uh, fetch the data on the on the build time. So we can fetch this data, but this data are only including the school informations only. So for school infos only. So then, when a user coming in, they will see the school information, but the rating will become later. So for the rating, the moment the user go into this page, and then this page will request. So what it's trying to request the school rating. And that is the way that we can try to improve this one. So it's it's better than do the skeletons uh, loading right here, and it will be much better for an SEO as well. And the same thing for the school. And for the school right here, we can do the statics for the school information. So at build time, we can do the school information. And then so the moment user hit the page right here, we will, uh, the page right here will request for the school rating. And that will be our next date to the platform. And I think it's gonna make it even better than what we currently have right here. And for the other things that we think that we should improve is uh, right now, there's too many school and a lot. So right now, if I want to find my school to do the rating, I have to scroll down and then find the right school. So we need to do some search and that will be for the next uh, version as well. And the other thing is that my team just we talk about it is right now you allow we allow student to do the OAuth with um, their Gmail, but unless with the right uh, school email with the right domain can only validate uh, can only review. And right now the problem is that some school might have using Outlooks as their email, so we need to add one more OAuth to this as well. And that will be the next version and the update of the app as well. And yeah, I think that will be it. So that's the issues and that's the technical issue that we run into and how we solve it and what we can do to make it even better. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you check it out, uh, the website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.